I was a young 20-year-old kid, um, being a professional musician. I had a baby on the way, suddenly, and that changed everything. I was like, what am I going to do? What am I, I got to think of something. And yeah, I was living at Lake Tahoe at the time, 1977, and a friend of mine was opening a restaurant. And there were these wooden signs around town, all over town, really beautiful wooden signs. And I, I was going to recommend that he, you know, contact that guy that was making the wooden signs. And I asked him, well, what are you going to do for your sign? And he says, well, I don't know. Can you make one? He you knows I was an artist of sorts, right? And I just kind of froze. And I mean, what do you do there? So I, I knew I was a musician, but I didn't really know I was an artist. And so I could draw and paint a little bit, but no, it came as a result of being kind of thrust into that environment, a lot of repetition, making a lot of mistakes, you know, lots of mistakes. And so I told the truth in advance, right? And it's not exactly lying, or just, but you're just telling the truth how it's going to be in the future. And I thought, well, sure, I can do that. And when I had no earthly clue, what to do, I didn't know what kind of wood to use, I had no tools, no money, I had to borrow 30 bucks from my dad just to get my first tool. That very first sign, I mean, oh no, it was terrible. <laughs> we traded, I got like 50 dinners for, uh, for the sign and it was, the food was terrible, but so was the signs. So, you know. No, it took years and years and years and years. For me, it didn't come natural. It was a lot of top ramen years, you know, making, you know, paying my dues and eventually parlayed into working for Disney and I tried to get in the front door at Disney for years nothing no, nothing at all and then one day the senior graphic designer for Imagineering happened to walk into a restaurant and saw some of my my work and they called me so at the time I, I didn't really realize what that would be I, I thought it was you know interesting work the money was good so sure I'll do that and I didn't really realize at that time what it was going to do for my career. I had no idea. <laughs> the transition into the, the larger sculpture pieces was just that. They, I was doing uh, some sign work for Disneyland, and they liked my work, and they asked, can you do these two. And I told them the truth in advance. Of course, I can do those. I had no idea. I had no idea how to do it. Where do we get the guts to do something like that? You look back and go, man, that was a really stupid thing to say. <laughs> but those pieces are still there today. They're actually really good. Very happy with them.